in another state. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. And I'm Dan Maris. Ex-TFD Captain David Watson is serving at least 66 years in prison for the murders of three women. His ex-wife Linda vanished in 2000 and her remains were found three years later, but weren't identified until 2011. Her mother, Marilyn Cox, and her friend, Renee Farnsworth, were killed outside Cox's home in 2003. Watson was not charged until 2015, and he's been appealing his 2017 conviction ever since. A court hearing today centered on a detective's interview with an Illinois murder convict who confessed to killing Linda Watson. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace was in court for today's hearing. And J.D., 20 years after the murders and still new twists in this case. Prosecutors aren't buying it, but David Watson's daughter maintains her father is innocent and this confession from Illinois proves it. Corey Fox is already convicted of murder and sits in an Illinois prison. He sent a letter saying he killed Linda Watson back in 2000. After a Pima County Sheriff detective interviewed Fox, Brad Roach with the Pima County Attorney's Office dismisses Fox's confession. As somebody who has unlimited time, as he does sitting in prison, and access to a computer can find all the details. But what we did find is he had a number of details that were simply incorrect. That if he had been the person who done this, he would not have said those things. So we absolutely know that he didn't, in fact, commit this crime. But David Watson's daughter, Jordan Watson, says Fox knows too much and wrote this statement. The prosecutor's office has not withheld evidence for months with no reason. If Roach truly believed there is no validity to Fox's confession, he would have handed it over immediately and not made my dad's legal team obtain a court order, which Roach attempted to evade. Roach did have to explain not appearing at a previous court date, and he says the audio of the detective's interview was a large file they couldn't simply email. But Roach will not even say Fox's name because he says Fox has made other claims outside this case. We feel absolutely confident that this person is a false confession, that he just does this to get attention, to stir things up. Watson's daughter disputes that, saying the location he describes burying the body matches where her skull was found. Remember, detectives could not figure out how she died. There wasn't enough evidence. What Fox describes fits the evidence that we do have. There is no way for a man across the country to provide detail that has never been shared with the public unless he did it. Fox killed my mother. Watson's legal team will now review the audio, and both sides say they want to make sure the right person is convicted. They just disagree who that is. Their job is to say, hey, maybe it's this person. So I expect we'll be seeing a filing from them uh, about this issue, but it, it's not particularly concerning because we feel like the evidence is clear. As for Roach not appearing in court last month, he says there was a glitch in the office's notification system, so he did not know about that court date, and he apologized to the judge. Live downtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News. A judge is refusing to block key evidence in the case.